Wallace. In today's video, I have a project share and it's this castle card that I made for my mother for Mother's Day. I am so in love with how it turned out and I'm going to give you a little rundown on all of the different items that I used to create this card. So the first thing will be the die set. This is the Anna Griffin Castle Easel Die Set and I cut it out of multiple papers and I decided to go with two different golds. So I did a gold and a rose gold kind of look and those papers are from Crafters Companion. It is their Centura Pearl Paper and I really do like that paper. It's so thick and it definitely gives your projects a very elegant look to them. All of the flowers that you see, I handmade all of those myself, but the pattern papers that the flowers are created out of are from thepapershelter.com and it's their Victorian Beauty Paper Pack. Love that website, love their stamps, and I love the fact that you do get matching papers to match their stamps. So the little end pieces at the bottom are a die set that I had in my collection. I'm not really sure where I got it from. I could have purchased it off of Amazon, but I tend to use it in a lot of my projects. And then the Happy Mother's Day sentiment that you see, I created that on my Cricut Maker using Cricut Design Space. So the, the Happy Mother's Day is a Anna Griffin design on Cricut Design Space, as well as the little frames that I used to go around it. So what I did was just searched Anna Griffin came up with that sentiment and then she also has frames from different uh, cartridges within Cricut Design Space. Um, I didn't use a cartridge but that's how you research them on Cricut Design Space. So I just resized the sentiment and measured the area to see how I wanted the frames cut it out on three different papers and had my Cricut Maker write it on the top layer okay and then I just pop that up on some pop dots so that the easel would have a stopper and you get to see this gorgeous castle as well as the sentiment now I did not have a box or anything like that because you know unfortunately this is one of those unique years we're doing the whole quarantine so I just went through my stash I found these glassine bags and I believe their measurements may be five by seven I'm not really sure sure but I slid the card in there it worked so I decided to go ahead and decorate it I just cut out some flowers um, made them and then the stamp and the die cuts are actually from a Anna Griffin stamp and die set that I have I believe it's like her treasury stamp and die set I'm not sure and then I just use my crafters companion uh, pigment inks I believe and that color I believe is Bardo and or Birdo and it actually matches everything perfectly so that's my share and I hope you all enjoy thank you so much for watching have a gorgeous day Dallas smooches Mwah. bye